this uh, test site that we're setting up with the 114 ore body is going to be about $49 million over the next two and a half years roughly. The rail in general just provides a huge opportunity. It's a much smaller technology compared to the large diesel trucks we're running and a much cleaner. So underground environment will be much cleaner as a result of that. There won't be as much diesel particulate. Um, the second big advantage of, of the technology is that it will allow us to make ore that isn't profitable more profitable so we can create and, and mine more of the new ore bodies in the area. But typically in terms of the way it operates, it, it is almost like a Hot Wheels. It's very simple technology. It's just uh, two wheels uh, that grasp the side of the train and propel it to the next set of wheels that then start up and propel it to the next set of wheels. So it's, it's not that you have an engine that's pulling the train. It's all, almost like an old Hot Wheel system where it pushes the train between the drive units. There are also other um, sub-projects looking at uh, other applications of the rail veer for materials handling such as supply management to bring supplies back underground. Uh, we even looked at a concept for where we might even use it ultimately for moving the workers into the underground areas as well as, uh, as a later phase um, so that it could replace a lot of the different types of materials handling devices uh, we see in, uh, in use in our mines today.